This is Jamie with Bari. Welcome back to our How It Works sales series, which is a set of videos that allows you to delve into the functionality of the different functions and modules of Bari's inventory software so you can decide if it would be a good fit for your bar. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the sales integration. And this is all about how we turn the sales data that's contained in your point of sale system. Bari integrates with 40 different point of sale systems, so all the major brands. How do we take that raw sales data showing you how many times each button was pressed into a record of how many ounces were sold so we can compare it and match it up to what was poured in real life. What we see a lot of bars uh, who come to us struggling with is to deal with the complexity of this and get it matched up with confidence. So we see bars using uh, a, a manual counting method and Excel spreadsheets, or actually in many cases, they're using an inventory software, but they're not getting the results down to the serving. And they kind of have this false sense of security but because they're using a dedicated piece of inventory software, it's solving the problem unless they're using barcodes and scales and investigating the errors and actively managing the point of sale buttons and all of that, typically they're swimming in data and they've got a lack of clarity and, and visibility into what's happening. Um, so let's show you how this works with Bar I. Um, as always, our pro audits get everything down to the serving and we provide assistance during setup in the first few weeks. And then when you've got this nailed, you can use the service self-service, but let's solve the problem first and then worry about uh, cutting costs by not having help. But the services element of Bar is an important point of differentiation that helps our clients execute to a better level. Let me share my screen and show how this works uh, in detail. So here we've got a raw point of sale. In this case, it's from Heartland point of sale. And we've just got this list of how many times each, all the buttons, how many times they were sold. And it's a bit of a mess. If we sort this, I've sorted this now for the liquor items and just looking here at Tito's. We see that this is where we start to see the complexity here. So we've got three different buttons that include a sale of Tito's. They're pressed three different amounts. And the biggest challenge is the single is 1.25 ounce pour. The double is two and a half. And these guys have a smaller shot size, which is 1.1 ounces. And so adding that all together to determine how much we sold is a little bit complicated. When you've got software, it's easy. So here we have uploaded that weekly sales report that matches the period uh, we're investigating here. And we've written recipes. So the software tells us how many times each button was sold, what the button description is, and how many dollars were taken. During the recipe setup meeting, we learn all about your glassware, standard drink sizes, signature cocktails, all that good stuff. So we can write exact recipes for each button. So shots, 1.1 ounces, singles, 1.25, doubles, 2.5 for this bar. Um, most of our clients do 1.5 as a standard, but there's a lot of variation around that. Again, it's custom to your bar. So here we look at the detailed product viewer where we can see how this turns into a actual sold bottles. So 107 sales of a drink that calls for 1.25 ounces means we sold 133.75 ounces, which in bottles or units is 3.95. And if we do this for each button, we can see if there are missing buttons confirm everything is correct and conclude that yes, we did in fact sell 5.7 and match it up against what we poured. So here we are for Tito's. These guys are doing a nice job. They accounted for 90, basically four, 94%. But overall for the category, they scored 98. So Tito's at the moment is performing below the category and is an opportunity. Of the 33 missing servings in liquor category, a third of them or 10 and a half were from Tito's. Um, we put the context of what you were missing last week so we can see actually they're moving in the right direction. The loss has gone from 14 servings to 10 and a half. Um, and we do this for every single product at the bar. So again, we get the category level stats, total missing, total missing uh, units. And then if we switch over to the financial side, we can see that these 31 missing servings in the category at wholesale cost cost them $34. It's resulted in a liquor cost of 19.3. And my favorite stat in the, in the software is the achievable cost, which says, what would your liquor cost have been if you weren't missing a single drop? So that might never, you might never get there, but it gives you a point to aim at. And again, these guys are off by 0.9%. And in the case of Tito specifically, we can see the liquor cost today is 14%, but should be 13.1% and they're missing $10 worth of the product. So if you are not getting this down to the serving level of detail, you're having trouble integrating with your point of sale system, um, reminder, we integrate with 40 different systems. So all the leading uh, 
restaurant specific square um toast spot on heartland aloha you name it we can pull the data and match it up to what you're counting as well as providing a faster way to count thanks for watching and if you're interested in figuring out how we can do this for your bar um, please book a demo we'll be happy to dive in thank you